Right there, there are best lights. Here we are then. Now, this is, will be your last time to be at Taunton. Uh, and the reason for that, because there are best. Now, this is obviously the channel of the airport. It will be a feature like this for you. Oh, so why is it going to be the uh, panel for Edmund for? Well, it's because you can see. Well, but basically, um, see that, that, that this is nearly the end of your own show, Revival. Well, I've just thought, see that, that you've already started um, with the first ever episode when you first went to Taunton with me. I thought, hey, why don't I take you back to Taunton just for your last visit? Ooh, well, this would be good. So, um, so. You do know what to do with that, you Yeah, of course I do. Look, see that building over there? Yup. That's the very place where when I first took you there since the start of your own show. Oh, I see. Now, can you, can you, can you remember if you bought Harvard? Yup, I remember the last time I bought Harvard. Yeah, he seems to enjoy it. Yeah, he certainly did. And do you remember the old bus times? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, is it the one that does need changing? Well, yes, apparently it has been changed. But do you want me to take you away from the room? Please. Alright, now go back to the back then. I don't want to keep it here, I should speak there. Alright. See you later, everybody. Alright then, alright then. Now, do you remember those bus signs? Um, I don't remember this one, but I see that it's changed to Fleet Air Arm Museum. Oh, but why they changed it? Ah, because you see that, that um, because people go there just for a good look around some old airplanes. And plus it has the same time as 11 minutes past 3. Oh, I see. So is that the reason of why you show me that? Because it's changed since then. Yeah. Anyway, we better get going. Go on. See you later. Right, now, now, do you remember this, this very sign that I showed you? Yep. Falcon Center. Somerset Care. Home Care Center. Oh. So is that where you're working, huh? Yes. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to put you back in because I don't want people to realise it's not there now. Huh? Alright. Right, come on then. Well, see you later, everybody, uh, when we go in. Oh, well, um, you can have a good look around, if you like. Come on. Right there, there, there. Well, this is it then. <coughs> this is your very last time to be at Taunton. Because, now, do you remember being in this office? Um, yes, I remember that. Well, that was the very place of when your show first started here. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So, um, <coughs> uh, do you also remember about that wheelchair that you first showed me? Yes, basically, it used to be over there. What, you mean, there? Yes, and also, we do did have some computer chairs. And, anyways, no, but look, I'm sitting in one right now. Oh, yeah, oh, I see. So, uh, George, uh, yes, no, no. Uh, I've heard that you've already been to Subway for lunch. Uh, how are you getting on? Oh, it's, it's very good, don't uh, there, thanks for asking. Oh, at this time, I decided to go for uh, the nacho chicken because I'm doing a saber sub today. Saber sub? Uh, how much was it anyway? You know, if you're making us a meal deal. Well, only about £3.99. Wow, that's very cheap. Yep. Too, right. Oh, and there's one thing you can't do on Save Sub, because you can't actually choose a filling. Well, that's a bit unfair, isn't it? Yeah, but don't worry, I'm used to that. Oh, that's great. Uh, I don't suppose you got the story at no hair? Don't say it. Stop! Stop! Who do you think you are getting, Mr. Doritos? If you big old eagles! Stop! I knew this was coming. Yeah, it's a good thing this is the last time he'll do it on. Taunton. Oh, get off! Oh. Ouch. Sorry, George. No, no, it's probably alright. It's okay, Dobe. It's not your fault. <coughs> oh! Ha! Got you. Yeah, you're gonna stay down there. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, and I ain't gonna help you out until you say sorry. <sighs> Alright, I'll apologise. Right, I'm sorry, George. Right, thank you. Right, and I'll help you out. Ouch! <coughs> and I'm also sorry if I kept saying Doritos. 
that's all right. <sighs> yeah. Well, do you know what, Derby? In the cartoon version of us, in the cartoon version of us, there'll be no Doritos Tangy Cheese. Besides, I don't even know if they've got one yet. Well, I certainly don't want you to have another one. Well, despite the fact that I know that we'll be moving into a new place soon. New place? Uh, not at all, did it? Oh no, I thought you liked the old house. And of course I do like the old house. I'm not actually moving there, you know. It's because it's the back. We'll be moving to a new cartoon city soon. Oh, hmm, that'll be good. <coughs> Anyways, go there. Uh, would you like to have a last ride on that computer chair just to make up for the wheelchair? Yes, please. Uh, all right. But first of all, I'm going to get off first. <coughs> all right, there. You can sit on here. Thank you. Oh. Well, but George. Ah, uh, George. I hope you're not going to spin me around. <sighs> no, of course I'm not. Good. But I will. But anyways, here you go on the right. Off we go. Woo! Right, and over to the head. Woo! 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 Well, this is impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is like being in a wheelchair again. Yeah, I know. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh. Beep, 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 beep. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, sadly, that was the last time to ride on one of these. Right, and I'm going to give you a spin around. Oh, God, you son of a you. Stop spinning! Oh, you're gonna make me feel sick! <sighs> well, she feels good, isn't it, Nerva? <laughs> it's not to me, it's not! Oh, as you know, sir, this is the last part of the day, stop! Oh, oh well, but at least that was the last time that George gave me a spin on this computer chair. Well, I'm gonna have to fall. And because the bike show is going to be ending soon, well, I salute you, Oliver McGowan. I will join up in heaven with you. Well, see ya! Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like he fell down. At once, and he didn't even fell on me this time. Well, thank God for all that. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sure he's not going up into heaven hmm. to join Oliver Gowan. Uh, hey there, uh, are you all right there, buddy? Uh, hey there, hey there, can you hear me? Oh dear, looks like he's injured though. That's okay, I think I might as well just pour this drink off my current all over. <laughs> well, at least he'll be all right now. <laughs> oh, <I> just... oh. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. All right. Who wet my face? Uh, it wasn't me. George, I think you're lying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Baba. I'm not falling for that. All right, to be honest with you, Derbeth, yes, I did. But you see, Derbeth, only because I saw you just fell to the ground. And I was a bit worried you wouldn't speak. Oh, but of course I can speak now. Ugh, now you just wet my face again. Oh, don't worry, your face will dry off. Don't worry, your face will be dry later. But anyway, I'll, I'll just show you what time am I supposed to be going. Right, there, now, what time is it now? Uh, uh... Is it three o'clock? No! It's not three o'clock! It's quarter past one, actually, so that means I've only got 15 minutes just to be prepared, ready to go upstairs. Oh, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get back to the desk. Oh, I suppose i better pick this up, too. Oh. And uh, don't worry about the floor, viewers. It'll dry. Eventually. 
<sighs> well, Dora Bear, well, what do you think of the office? Does it remind you of the first ever episode? It certainly does. Yeah, now that you've mentioned it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you brought thought. Well, do you know what, Dora Bear? Um, I think the uh, tenth one of the epilogue is going to be the bonus short in which um, you get to be in Taunton for the last time. Ah, my own short, eh? Yep, your very own short. Oh. Alright. Right, anyways, no, but, now, I have to go upstairs right now, so I'll come and see you down, down there in the back, ready for you to be with for me. Now, now, I'll come and find you when I'm finished. Oh, good. Right, there you are. I'll let you go back to the side of the back. Oh, alright. <coughs> well, see you everybody. And stay with me. Alright, no, but just so you know, I'm back from the training now. Oh, oh, good. So how did it go? Oh, it went very well. Yeah, because I think there were ten people up there. Wow, well, ten people? Yep. Ah. Oh. Well, no, but that one, because I might as well need another drink. Oh, and uh, have you had your drink yet? Uh, no. Well, I do have that smash that I brought with me. There you are. Oh, thank you. And then you're going to have your drink yourself? Yes. Of course, that means I can give you a tour around the kitchen later. Ooh, all right. Well, let's have a drink. Yeah. Cheers, George. Cheers, Dad. Bear. That was delicious. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. All right then. Now, let me take you around to the kitchen. Now, you might remember the kitchen. Yeah, of course. I want to. George. Yeah. Two things to tell you. One. Don't put me in the dirty towel basket. Yeah, because it was a bit smelly in here last time. And two, when you finish with your glass, go and wash up and dry your own stuff. <laughs> you lazy too fast, you You're such a waste of space. You know that. <laughs> oh! Boy! <laughs> Alright, I'll help you. Oh! oh. Right, now I'll take you to the kitchen now, so that you can, so that I can help myself to a black coat. All right, right, come on now, Beth, come with me. All right. Well, see you at the kitchen when we do. <laughs> All right, now, Beth. Now, do you remember being in the kitchen this time? Remember your first time? Yep, I remember the kitchen. Yeah, because that's the one that you had with a drink here. And that's right. And also, there was that dirty tea towel in there. Oh, oh, I see. Right, well, are you going to make yourself a drink? Yes, that's what I'm planning to. And George, remember what I said. I know, I know. Go and get on with my, me washing and drying my own cups. <sighs> All right. Now, anyway, I'm just going to look for a black cup. Oh, here we go. All right, now, uh, Beth, now, see that bottle there? Oh, what bottle? Well, I'll show you. See? That's right, B. Oh! So is that what you kept having? Yes. Oh, well that explains it. Uh, is it okay if I make a drink of it for you? <sighs> yeah, I don't see why. I mean, this one's nearly empty, so you're going to have to be careful with it, though, because it may be double strength. Oh, all good. Let's see if I can do it now. Here we go. And... Right, here we go. There we go. Well, just bring the glass. Right, all right, well, as long as you're careful. Yeah, of course I'll be careful. Get this way, please. Right, and I'll just put, put, I'll just turn on the water for you. Oh, thank you. Right, here we go. Whoop. Oh no! Don't tell me my feet are sweat. Oh yeah, I'm afraid so, Nerbeth. Oh, you must have put your foot in it. Yeah, but at least you'll have ice cold feet tonight. What? Mm. Oh no! George Fox, I didn't do that. 
It's because that washing up bottle's a bit full. <laughs> yeah? It was an accident, Nerve, not on purpose. Hey, but I'm very happy to say, well done for making a drink yourself. Oh, thank you. Oh, my feet have worked. Ugh. Yeah, don't worry, Nerve. You'll get your feet dried off later. But you've done a good job of a drink. So, um, you deserve to have another one. Oh, thank you. Right, I love drink. That was delicious. Thank you very much, George. Ah, you're quite welcome. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and I know that I haven't done anything wrong. It's just sometimes <coughs> staff need the full water, so it's just to wash and dry my own cups. What, like you? Uh, well, I'm not a staff member, though, but only Chris is. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, don't worry about your feet, though, but yeah, I understand they're a bit wet now. Ugh, yeah, seems you did put your foot in it. Now, anyways, I'm going to have a drink now. Oh, and since your foot is wet anyway, I'm going to put you in the tea towns laundry. Right, down you go, ready for your walk. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, goodbye, Nerva. See you tomorrow. Oh, you can't leave me here. Oh, well, I'm very sorry about Pierce, but I have to do that. It's because no hair has got his foot in it. Only he did it on accident, but not on purpose, though. Well, he might want to have a drink now, now that I've earned it. And thanks to no hair bear for making it for me. Very kind of him. Yeah, cheers. <sighs> Delicious. All right, then, viewers. Now, before anyone else gets overexcited, don't worry, I'm not actually leaving behind. I only did it as a joke, but that's what he gets him for thinking it was me that wet his feet when really it was the sink. Alright, uh, but I'll help you up. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, let's just pretend that you're dry. Oh, alright. Yeah, but what about my feet, though? Oh, my foot is wet. <sighs> Stop moaning. You'll get yourself dry later. Alright. Uh, have you had your drink, by the way? Yeah, just about to drink the rest of it. Okay. Well, Derbe, that was... <coughs> Don't bust them! <coughs> Oops! <laughs> well, that sort of put me off a bit. There. You just blew off in here. Sorry! <sighs> That's alright. Hey, you what? Um, why don't you put that bottle away from me? Because I'll get it open for you. Thank you. Right, and now you can put that away. Thank you. <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> ah! Sorry, George. I think I'm a bit too old to carry things, you know. Don't worry. I'll do it for you then. Thank you. Oh. Are you all right? Sorry. It's just because my paws slipped away from me. That's okay. It's perfectly all right. Oh, well, do you need a toilet while whilst we're in here? Oh. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, George, don't forget to remember to wash your cup. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Okay. Uh, what I'd better do. There you go, Donna. All done. That's good. Right. Now, I remember the first day kit. Ah, oh, that's for people who were injured. Yep, well done for remembering. Yup. Right, okay, let's get out then. See you at the toilet. Well, I'll open the door for him first. After you, after you. Thank you. Right then, uh, Bear. Well, did you enjoy uh, <coughs> giving a tour around for the final time? Yup, I certainly have. So, anyway, Lord, uh, are we going back to Yogle now? Uh, yes, but of course, however, uh, I think we might have to end this epilogue short right here anyway, because sadly, once we go off, there'll be no more going to Taunton for you. Oh, alright. Is it because I've done something wrong? No, you haven't done anything wrong. 
So obviously, that's why we're just doing the epilogue shot in style. Ah, well, I best work about a say goodbye then, see you back here. Well, bye bye everybody. See you in the next episode for when we get to the 20th and the last episode of Bio Show. Revival. Well, bye bye. And bye bye to me, George Bust. Oh, yeah, and of course, um, goodbye, Torton. Well, I'm going to finish you, though. Yeah, I know you from, from the first episode to the Elderbent Epilogue short. Right, well, I'm going to go. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh.